On August 27th, 1883, the volcanic island of Krakatoa exploded with such force that it was heard 4,800 kilometers away, created tsunamis up to 40 meters high, killed 36,000 people, and darkened the sky worldwide for five days. Before we continue, would you mind liking this video and subscribing to our channel? Now let's discover the most powerful volcanic eruption in recorded history. Krakatoa was a volcanic island between Java and Sumatra in Indonesia. In May 1883, the volcano began showing activity with minor eruptions and earthquakes. For three months, it rumbled ominously. On August 26th, eruptions intensified dramatically. Ash clouds rose miles high. Explosions could be heard hundreds of kilometers away. But this was just the beginning. At 10 to a.m. on August 27th, Krakatoa exploded in one of the most violent eruptions in human history. The explosion was equivalent to 200 megatons of TNT, roughly 13,000 times the Hiroshima bomb. Here's how loud it was. The explosion was heard in Perth, Australia, 3,110 kilometers away, and Rodriguez Island near Mauritius, 4,800 kilometers away. It remains the loudest sound in recorded history. People 160 kilometers away suffered ruptured eardrums. The explosion destroyed two-thirds of the island completely. Where a 450-meter-tall volcanic island stood, there was now only ocean. The volcano collapsed into itself, creating a massive underwater caldera. But the explosion wasn't the main killer. The tsunamis were. The collapse created massive tsunamis reaching 40 meters high, as tall as a 13-story building. These waves radiated outward at incredible speed. The tsunami struck Java and Sumatra with apocalyptic force. Entire villages swept away in seconds. The Dutch warship Baru was picked up and deposited three kilometers inland. Approximately 36,000 people died, with 165 coastal villages destroyed. The explosion ejected 25 cubic kilometers of material into the atmosphere, reaching 80 kilometers high. The ash cloud circled Earth multiple times. The sky turned blood red at sunset for months worldwide. Global temperatures dropped 1.22 tiles for the next year. The sound wave circled Earth seven times. Barometers worldwide registered the pressure wave. Ships days later reported pumice fields so thick they couldn't navigate, covering thousands of square kilometers. Bodies floating on pumice rafts drifted across the Indian Ocean for months. The disaster became one of the first major international news events transmitted worldwide via telegraph. That's your ultimate history knowledge bomb. If this explosive disaster amazed you, smash that like button. Subscribe to 3 Men Knowledge for more catastrophic natural events.